Hello everyone, welcome to 12 inches. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be showing you how to make a really easy five minute bucket hat. So I'm going to be showing you two different ways to make a doll bucket hat. Both are super easy, both only take five minutes. So let's get started. Let's get started. The important thing is basically we're going to be using a bottle cap and basically just a little bit of a doll for reference. Bottle cap is basically the perfect size for their heads, so we're going to be kind of utilizing that fact to make a bucket hat. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just take your fabric and just take any edge, it doesn't really matter. Put down your bottle cap. There we go. And just roughly cut a piece. Now I d you do want just like a little bit on the side just because it's easier that way. There we go. Because when you glue it down with your wonderful hot glue, you do want to be able to kind of cover it on the sides. You don't need as much as I have here. But um, you do want enough that you can have nice edges. So just cut a nice little circle. There you go. And then glue around the sides. So this is what the top of the bucket hat looks like. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rectangle and hem it. It has to be about the length of the circumference of the bottle cap. And this is going to just kind of hide the weird edge with the folded over top part. Okay, and then just go ahead. Just pausing quickly here. Um, I know it looks like I completely made the brim, and you're probably confused because you never learned how to do that. But um, I actually decided to rip that off and do a different method, and then show you that method later. So please just ignore that thing's existence entirely. Lining up this seam at the back, I'm going to glue this piece around the hat. Okay, so I decided that I actually wanted a larger brim just because this part comes out a lot more than I thought it would, so then the brim kind of the size just wasn't wasn't good. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking some card stock and I'm going to be tracing out how large I want my brim to be. Um, so I'm going to trace the hat or what this thing, whatever this thing can be called. Just about that. And then I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. Find something round and basically cut that out. Okay, so here's kind of like the finished pattern. I have my kind of wonky, really honestly terrible, um, cut out of the hat and then I drew a larger circle that I did trace. Um, so it should be better than this circle. And then I'm going to cut this out, and then I'm going to cut this part out. Okay, so here it is. Um, is it perfect? No. Will the fabric hide that? I really hope so. Okay, so now I'm just going to cover this shape in the fabric. Okay, so here it is. All covered. Underside's not so nice. And so then I'm just going to take my hat, lining up with this back seam. Wow, we're doing a lot of freezing today. Okay, so this bucket hat kind of looked like more of a sun hat. And if you're looking for a more kind of floppy bucket hat kind of look, um, then what you want to do is actually just kind of move the 
cardboard together so the ends overlap a little bit and it creates more of a cone shape. Um, I did actually do this off camera and so that's why the final product looks like that. And gluing it in. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a toilet paper roll with some scissors. Cut off a small section. Oh my. I think these... Okay, what happened here? There we go. Cut it open. Take your doll's head and measure it around so that it fits. For me, that's actually just exactly the width that it was. So, well, a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to take some duct tape. And I'm going to tape that in. So I have a little crown for her head. Ta-da! Okay. Then for the top of the hat, take some... Oh. You have to actually put a hot glue stick in. Put some hot glue around the top. And hot glue on a piece of fabric for the top of the hat. And because we want some nice edges, oops, wrong scissors, gotta keep your scissors in order. I'm gonna just trim the excess and glue down these little parts. This is gonna give it a nice clean edge. Next, I cut a rectangle of fabric that can go all the way around the hat. And this is going to be the brim, so it needs to be um, double the size you actually want it to be because we're going to be folding it in half to give it some extra strength. So then we're going to create strips of hot glue. I like to be generous here because this is what's going to give the hat its strength. And fold it. Not only does this give us a nice edge, but it gives the hat just a little bit of strength. And then we're going to be gluing this around. I think this is a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut it down. Then I slowly begin to glue it around the hat. I take my time with this just because I actually, I don't want the hat to be glued straight down so I don't kind of glue it like this I try and glue it sticking out just a little bit oh I didn't cut mine long enough so I'm just gonna cut a little extra piece of fabric to fill there the final step is we are going to create a piece to go around here to cover up those nasty edges I did this the same way I did it in method one. And here we basically have the bucket hat. Okay, so um, that is two different ways to make a bucket hat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to make. Um, especially because I love bucket hats, so it's always great to know how to make one or two. And I think this also works really well as a sun hat. Um, probably more so necessarily than a bucket hat, but I think it is still really awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below which one, if either, you're going to be making and which one you like better. And I'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye.